Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Once again, True Gamer here for you. I just wanted to share with you today a new gaming bridge uh, that helps with your network speeds as far as your Wi-Fi goes for your virtual reality headset. Uh, the best thing about this is it's actually made specifically for virtual reality. Um, so it's kind of just like a little dedicated bridge that's specifically to help you out with your uh, air link connection or your virtual desktop connection wirelessly uh, to your PC. Uh, it is by Nexus Link and it is only $69.99. So let's go ahead and hop into the advertisement video that they have and see what it's all about. Oculus Rift, Quest 1, and Quest 2 users no longer have to choose between a powerful internet connection and a truly wireless virtual reality experience. Finally, you can use AirLink to access PC and VR games not currently available on your headset. Nexus Link's WB1750 delivers the flawless wireless connection that gives you the truly untethered virtual reality experience that you crave. Let's take a closer look at Nexus Link's WB1750. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what we have here is just an up-close image of the actual bridge itself. Uh, it's pretty nice and sleek. Uh, it kind of looks like your actual PS5. Um, really cool. Uh, if you have a PS5, you might be able to put it right next to it and kind of have like a mini-me thing going on. Um, so it has two Ethernet ports on the back of it. Um, you know, your power cable and all that. Um... What comes in the box here is basically just the bridge itself, an Ethernet cable, and a power adapter. Uh, so, you know, kind of standard stuff. Of, of course, your installation guide. Um, so, really, the, the problem is, is most of the time you've got all these Wi-Fi connections in your house. I know, personally, me, I've got a ton of them. I've got several phones, several computers, TVs, all that stuff, and you've got signal flying through the air, bouncing all over the place. So really it's just, you know, congesting up your router and it, it, it's really throwing signals all over. So when you're trying to play through AirLink or Virtual Desktop, you're really not getting the speeds that you should. Uh, so what this does is basically isolate the traffic um, what it does is it basically puts a connection in between um, your router and your gaming pc and your headset um, basically boosting the signal for just your vr headset and your pc to make sure you have better latency we all know when you have better lat latency in the actual headset for VR, um, you're not getting as motion sick, you're getting a high quality gameplay, you're not seeing any lag, things of that nature, so that's always a good thing. They actually show two different ways you can actually set it up. Um, you know, you have your router and then you can insert the bridge and um, basically it's just going to your gaming PC and your virtual head you know, headset, whatever it may be, uh, whatever VR headset you have. Uh, that's probably the best way to set it up. Uh, that way you're getting the less travel time through the Wi-Fi and all that other good stuff. Uh, it's the best way to do it, I think. Um, and then there's another way where if you basically want to use two bridges, uh, you can do it that way to kind of boost signal around the house. Uh, I would use that if you have your like router set up somewhere else in the house besides right in the room that you're playing. Um, that would probably be the best solution. I personally have my router right next to me in my computer room where I play VR, so uh, scenario A would be best for me. Scenario B would be probably best for a lot of people who have their router in a different location, different room, you know, upstairs or downstairs away from where you actually play. So that's your best case scenario with that. So really, I just wanted to share that today. Um, it's, it's something that's super cheap and easy uh, to get your hands on, and it probably will help you all out with some of your connection issues that you have with virtual desktop or AirLink. 
Um, unless you're using Wi-Fi 6, this is probably the best solution for you, especially if you have multiple Wi-Fi devices you know, flying around the house and, and all that other good stuff. So this might be a cheap, simple solution that y'all can purchase and see if that helps out a little bit. Uh, the best part about this, this is actually available on Amazon. So if it doesn't work, you can return it no problem. So uh, I will leave a link in the description for the actual Nexus website and for a link on Amazon. Uh, if y'all liked what you see, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know if any of y'all tried. I'd be curious to see in the comments below if uh, it truly works. And I'd also like to know if it doesn't work. So once again, thanks for watching. We'll see y'all next time.